yesterday's reveals were pretty average i suspect today's might be pog let's get it King of Trolls coming through. here he is guys five mana four six trundle when i'm summoned create an ice pillar in hand i've seen you play ice pillar if this creates an eight cost card if the ice pillar is an eight cost get card for a beat down. it is an eight cost card oh dude i called this i'm like if there's a card that creates an eight cost card that's gonna be massive all right by the way trundle has regen five mana four six with regen hoggers All right, Behold suddenly just got a lot better. Ice Quake. Give all units minus three this round. Deal three to all units. That's a, that's a bomb, man. It's like a weird ruination. New keyword, Behold. Yeah, we know that one. Six mana five five. If you behold an eight plus cost card, grant an ally overwhelm and regeneration. Six mana five five. And it also has beholden. So this card already has overwhelm and regen and is granting another ally the same. Okay. There's the ice pillar, guys. Oh, Trundle's flipping. When I'm summoned, create an ice pillar in hand, I get it. Attack, grant me plus one for each eight plus cuss card you hold. Behold. The stat line on Trundle already seems super obnoxious. I didn't really get to see the ice pillar, but I'm sure we'll see it in the um, overlay. All right, this is literally my third take because I get halfway through it and uh, I'm talking about the cards and I just like, I blew my brain up again. And I think I can't, like how competitive are these cards right now? Because we haven't really experimented with cards like this before or seen anything like this. I will tell you right now that in terms of the behold mechanic, I kind of talked about the fact that they need to bring out a card that's going to generate you an eight mana card in hand which is trundle so right about now behold decks are 100 percent running trundle if they actually going to be a thing trundle already seems pretty wild as a five mana four six with regeneration that's already a very strong mid-range unit like i wonder if it's actually a behold deck that doesn't even worry about the behold thing like i wonder if it's just if there's just a really strong trundle deck that provides you with the ice pillar and kind of gives you some crazy bombs towards the end by the way, the Ice Pillar will refill 8 mana after you've played it. This is what you get from Trundle. Play in round start, give the strongest enemy vulnerable this round. It's like literally just a free bomb of a card. It's pretty interesting. Um, You can even buff it and attack with it. It's not like immobile, like the kegs are. And then when Trundle flips, that's that's the part where like you wonder like if you would build a behold deck because even having one uh, a plus cost card in hand just kind of allows you to um get that little bit of value so it becomes a five mana six seven with overwhelm and you can like look to end the game at around turn eight i think right now behold decks probably don't want to be too greedy because there's ezreal right and ezreal will kind of eat up on any greedy like late game deck so i think your behold deck will look something like you know, it might dip into Noxus to run like Captain Farron, uh, Captain Farron, for example, and stuff and kind of like end the game. There's a lot of overwhelm synergy here. So the other cards that we didn't like to talk about that weren't in the trailer is on the top right, we have the Broadbacked Protector. Round start, heal your Nexus by three and then deal damage to me equal to the amount healed. Uh, I think it's just a uh, pretty average. I don't think I want to be playing this on turn four at all and this is a targon card by the way you can kind of do some cute stuff with the healing of the gem but in general this is like immediately going to be kind of like eh it also gets ripped apart by calling strike and just is generally not providing enough pressure and it's just killing itself slowly you can use it to take some like funny trades where um you kind of push the maximum value from it 
But as soon as this like gets knocked into, like you protect the, I just, I don't think it's a very good card. I think there's better ways to like get healing instead of playing this. Unless we see some more like pieces that kind of like complement it. Like you can like kind of buff it with damaging effects and stuff, but it's kind of awkward, right? Uh, we also have the Resplendent Stalacorn, uh, five mana, four, five, play, heal and ally and your Nexus by three. Um, this will be a very suitable card in a certain fast. If it's, a, if, it's like, if it's like a fast meta, fast meta with burn and like a lot of trading, it gets a little bit okay, but this card's generally very average. I don't think it's competing in a five mana slot, which is super competitive. It would need to be a very specific meta call where there's like lots of um, wide boards and trading and then decks like i don't know i just don't think it's a very good card uh revitalizing raw and right next to it so pick a unit in your hand to reveal heal your nexus by its power enlightened reduces cost to zero uh it is extremely slow but possibly could be a game breaker i'm waiting for people to like kind of experiment with this card though i think the best way to kind of use this card the when i first think about it is to play a couple of late game bombs in a single turn, right? You set up some sort of combo. Like, I don't know if you'll play like Lidros and a Karina in one turn or something, or something really interesting. You can't do that because of the color combinations, but you know what I mean? This card kind of wants to set up for some crazy combo, and there might be one there. Outside of that, I don't think it's um, providing you a tempo, and you might want to be ending that game. You want, you want to be ending the game around this time. As I said with the Trundle card, I think with Trundle, we, we want to be building a like deck that's a really strong mid-range deck that this kind of ends the game around when ice pillar comes down like i don't know how much further you can push it um, it depends how like fast ezreal can level up right because as i said ezreal i'm pretty sure will eat this deck if they do like the 20 to 0 in one turn at burst speed because they could like play revitalizing raw and heal themselves i think in the end trundle is probably going to be fitting into a deck where it's just like kind of like a really strong like maybe like free old noxus and then you play like Ice Pillar, Captain Farron, and you kind of close out the game with Overwhelm units, similar to like Harrowing Darius kind of stuff, except without the Harrowing, right? As for the Augur of the Old Ones, play if you behold an A-plus cost card, grant me Overwhelming Regeneration. Man, these cards are really interesting. I honestly would have to experiment with these cards, but they all do seem like to have a fair bit of potential. I think Trundle's Ice Quake is like meh. It's like a worse ruination. I don't know how worth it is to play it on eight mana. It does kind of activate your behold though. It's interesting to have there. And like sometimes you might have double trundle in your hand and you'll have trundle's ice quake being able to activate your behold, which is kind of interesting, but not oftentimes going to happen. Unironically, I think revitalizing raw would be a better card if it costs eight mana. It activates your behold, right? And it gives you more of a reason to consider it. Because right now, I don't know if behold deck would even consider it. Cool. Well, um, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Jump down, jump down in the comments. Let's talk about Trundle. I want to know what I'm missing because I'm just scratching my head, losing my mind a bit. Like, I'm pretty sure Trundle, as I said, is just going to be like in some kind of strong mid-range deck that ends the game around turn eight, nine, ten, roughly. With like kind of like, well, my first impression was like some sort of like overwhelm, ending, finishing like Captain Farron or even like Lidros possibly. But yeah, jump down in the comments, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you guys most likely tomorrow in the next card reveal. Peace.